Well, on Daybreak, a look at the impact the president's immigration plan could have on the economy. It would create a path to U.S. citizenship for almost 11 million immigrants. News 8's Katie Wisely talked to an economist who claims the benefits far outweigh the cost, Katie. Yeah, Drew, good morning. That's right. Kyle Anderson with the IU Kelly School of Business says when the country makes policy decisions like this, it creates smaller changes over time. He clarified that immigration tends to be good for the economy. It increases labor force, allows for economic growth, and he says the people that come to the U.S. do so because job openings are available. Anderson says there are two different paths that have an impact on the economy. High-skilled workers like engineers and doctors fill necessary parts of the economy and tend to have an easier path to citizenship, while lower-skilled workers who fill valuable areas have a more difficult time with documentation. Anderson says baby boomers are starting to retire, and by increasing the workforce, it helps programs for every American. Our population grows anyway, but it's growing pretty slowly. So expanding the, the labor force through immigration really helps, again, support retirees and, and helps those programs like Medicare and Social Security remain solvent for longer. Now, that alone isn't going to solve those problems. They, they still have funding shortfalls. And even with immigration, it's not some magic bullet that will make those problems go away, but it, it helps. Another thing to think about is DACA, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, people who grew up in the U.S. but have an unclear status. Anderson says if they were able to get a clear path to citizenship, there's potential for them to be more productive in the economy. Now, in total, the bill would need 60 votes to make it through the Senate. Vice President Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker. The administration would have to persuade at least 10 Republican senators to cross the aisle. Katie Wisely, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook. Katie, thank